Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards for the N64 Part 3. And today we are joined by my special guest, my good buddy and friend, Camden. Hey everybody, what's going on? Alright, let's get right into it, man. And I uh, left off at Rockstar Level 2. Oh, I remember Rockstar. I love that level. I love Kirby and his Hi! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> yeah, right now I'm about to do battle with the level 2 Rockstar boss. A bunch of colored oh. crystals. And I'm dodging oh, it right now. Oh. Ah! Leave me alone! <laughs> and, I Kirby. <laughs> and now I got a green crystal that has formed. Woo. Oh boy. Now they're going the other way. Yikes. I like how they change direction on you. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Now where's that blue crystal? Oh, there it is. That's where they start bobbing up and down through the ground. Yeah. That fight really... This, this fight is really, really fun though. You, you have to admit. It's, it's a load of fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> No question about it. <laughs> and I managed to dodge them all, now we're at the top. Come on, where's my weapons? <laughs> bob and weave, bob and weave. Oh god, I still got the light bulb ability, I gotta get rid of that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Suck up, this, <laughs> suck up this green energy. Whoops, and I missed the crystal. Uh. Oh, I hit the green crystal for some decent damage. Yeah, it seems like no matter what ability you have, the best thing to do is always just to suck up and spit. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing. Sucking up the blue crystal. Get over here, you green crystal. Aha, we destroyed the green crystal. Good. Just got the red and blue one left. Alright, need some more items. Alright, there we go. Got the blue. And let's dodge this green crystal. Come on, hit it! Damn. Uh, you need to improve your accuracy. Yeah, it's not too sharp right now. <laughs> Come on, Red Crystal, get over here. The music, man. I, I, I just get a kick out of the music for this boss fight. <laughs> Alright, where's the item? Where's the item? I need a... Alright, red, alright, red, that red thing I need, that's a good one, whoa boy, whoa, ah crap, just got caught by that blue crystal, ah, run Kirby, run, dodge it, oh, oh man, <laughs> this boss is taking a little longer than I would like it to, <laughs> alright, we took out the red crystal, okay, just got the blue one left, since there's only one left, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Yay, we destroyed it. Woo! And the crystal boss explodes, and we get another crystal shard. Yay! You got, you got to love those explosions. Hi! <laughs> All right, now we've got that boss covered. We on to next. We got a cutscene. Yeah. That's what's next. <laughs> Cutscenes, huh? Yeah. Yep. Oh, there's Kirby. Oh, picturing everybody's heads as food. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd want to hang around with someone who always imagines my head as a watermelon or something like <laughs> that. I'd, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think it'd be safe. And Adeline eating a sandwich. Yum. Yum. She's painting food for DDD and Ribbon and Kirby and Waddle Dee Dee. She should paint me a sandwich. <laughs> You know, just set her canvas up in the kitchen and, and just start painting. I don't care what she paints with, as long as I get my sandwich, I am good to go. Oh yeah. And off to the next star we go, level 3 Aqua Star. Alrighty. I love underwater themed levels, very fun. Yikes, almost got hit by volcanic rock. 
run down that piranha fish. Still there, man? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just, okay. you know, <laughs> listening and watching, just keeping my eyes up. Yeah, just note, folks, Kenden just woke up. It's morning in Thailand right now, so he might be a little yeah, out of it. The time as of this very moment of recording is 10.08 a.m., and I woke up, like, what was it, like 20 minutes ago, maybe? I don't know. My god. <laughs> yeah. I'm just doing the usual stuff to try to keep myself awake. I took off and just go downstairs and start eating, like, breakfast and stuff. I don't even think anyone's home. I, I heard they were all going somewhere today, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, currently I'm using the fire rock ability to smite some enemies. I... My favorite game is the rock and cutter. Where you get to turn yourself into, like, different statues, and you can, like, walk around and beat people up. Oh, you don't really beat people up. It's more so you just, like, walk into enemies and it hurts them. But the problem with that is not a lot of the forms are good. Really, the, the best form you can get is like this little bird. He, he can cover great distance. Yeah, I know, I know what one you're talking about, too. Yeah. I would, I would just like, I would get cutter and stone and just keep transforming until I hit that bird and then just run right through the level as far as I can go with him. I gotta say, the no. I gotta say, Kine's yeah. the most useless one. I mean, what does he do? He just sits there, and does nothing. Yeah, it's just like, plop. Like, come on, man, you're wasting my time. Yeah, now we're inside a sea cave, and a penguin's running away from me. Yeah, you run. Or you get rocks up your ass. These, these penguins, they gotta learn not to. They, they look like chickens. <laughs> Now I got some frogs trying to eat me. I can't believe it. I don't think we ran into a single crystal shard in this stage yet. Oh god, we got cavemen with spears. Cavemen with spears. You know, one of these days I like to play a video game where I play a caveman and you think he's not going to do anything and then he would sort of shock him. And then you're like, shit! There's like a time vortex thing going on here, and you don't know what to do. <laughs> like, eight man with a shotgun. What's next? The pterodactyl flies by and shoots lasers out of its mouth? I have no idea, man. <laughs> My creativity is surprisingly high for 10 in the morning, <laughs> I gotta say. Aw, oh, crap, I just got hit by one of those spike enemies. Ooh. So, what's your favorite oh. ability in this game, anyway? The. Rock Cutter is probably my favorite because of how awesome the bird is, but then, um, I think, uh, I'm gonna say the Fire Sword? I cannot remember exactly, but there was, a, there was another ability that had a lot of movement and power, I don't really remember what it was. But, I like a lot of the, I like a lot of the ice abilities too, like most of them are really, really fun. I like the, uh, ice, the ice skating Kirby ability, I think you get that with Ice and Cutter. Oh yeah, that one's really fun. I gotta say though, fire and ice, uh, not very, not a very creative move. What is it, like melting ice? Like, generate steam that kills enemies? I mean, come on, uh, they couldn't come up with anything better for that one? <laughs> honestly, I think it's even less creative than that. I thought it was just like, just like, a fire and ice. Like, getting hit by fire and getting hit by ice. Something, I, I just remember being really, like, uncreative. And I was really disappointed by that. And that's honestly, that's probably one of the downsides. The fact that there's not really that much creativity when it comes to power-ups. Like, there's a bit, but like some of them were really cool, like that Cutter Rock and stuff like that. But then the Fire and Ice ones, it's just like, okay, I'm gonna spit fire at you, I'm gonna spit ice at you. It's, it's kinda <laughs> off. I do like the refrigerator ability though, that one's pretty good. Yeah, that one's so one's pretty cool. And I'll let the bonus game. And I missed the tomato. Poor Kirby's crying. You got nothing to eat. <laughs> oh wow, I only found one crystal in that stage. Damn, man. I gotta go back and get a certain ability to get the last one. I think I need like a ice bomb. 
So let's discard this fire rocket ability. I don't need it anymore. Yeah, the later crystal shards get really pretty tough to find. What what kind of annoys me is that a lot of them will be like, okay, you need this ability to get this crystal shard, but the ability that is here is not available in this level. So you have to go back to an old level and get that ability and come back here and it's so annoying. Yeah, I'm constantly doing it. And I always go back to level one, one dash two. Are you are you aiming for a hundred percent? Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I want the best ending. All right. Yeah, we're going for all the crystal shards. That's actually pretty awesome. Oh, uh, let's see. We got bomb sparks. Don't want that. I want the bomb freeze. And we got to run into the tree to run into a. Uh, to a freeze enemy. Got those snowmans. Ah, Chili. Yeah. Alright, come on, Chili. Let your ice force field down. Alright, ice bomb. We got what we needed. Now we go back to that stage. Yeah. A lot of the bombing abilities are fun, too. Hi. Well, hi! <laughs> <laughs> So have you beaten this game a lot? Um, I've actually only beaten it a couple times, and I never really went for the 100% runs because I was really impatient when it came to the crystals. I, I'm considering playing it playing it through again sometime and just actually getting 100%. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I like battling dark matter in this game. Dark yeah. I don't know what makes the final Dark Matter so epic. I guess it's just its form. I don't know. A big eye? Uh, a big white bleeding eye. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty evilish looking villain for a Kirby game. I mean, if you thought Marx was bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think I know which. Yeah, I missed a crystal in this room. Uh, let's see where we can find it. Uh, I know it's here somewhere. Oh, it's probably gonna be this one. Oh, okay, there it is. That's the crystal I missed. Let's fall down here and get it. There we go. Now we just need one more. The one we get with the uh, ice bomb ability. Boom! Dead. I just like how you just run into enemies and kaboom, they're dead. Yeah. I like ability if you can just do that. Like, ah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm surprised. I don't like Meta Knights in this game. I think it's one of the very few Kirby games that doesn't have them. Yeah, I don't think he is in that game. I mean, if he was, honestly, he could have been in one of the older Smash games. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, I want some meat. My health is probably low. Oh, get up there. Oh, all right, well, we killed that enemy. That's good. Yes, meat. Need some more health. Yeah, there's like a glitch with the Kirby 64 ROM where the health doesn't show up. And yeah, I, I remember that glitch from the, uh, from the ROM for Project 64. It annoyed the crap out of me. Oh, well, luckily I'm keeping track pretty well. <laughs> the first time I tried to run through the game like fully, I was playing on Project 64, and it and it just was not working well. Like there were too many graphical glitches, so I said screw it, and I went and bought it on Virtual Console and played it there. Oh boy. Uh, all right, can we stop the truck? Okay. Okay, let's get up here. Yeah, I gotta do this the safe way. There we go, I'm just keep... Yeah, I'm under... I'm, I'm fighting a giant spike enemy, I'm right underneath and I'm gonna keep smacking him with the bomb ice ability and killing him. <laughs> ice bombs. Woohoo! Oh, a little bit of lag. Eek. Luckily, it's not affecting me too badly. That happens to everybody. Fly out of the hole, Kirby. There you go. Alright, 
Oh, we're getting, getting close to where we need the ice and bomb. Alright, here we go. Let's go down here. Gotta go to the far bottom of this corridor. Whoa. Almost got spiked by one of those spike enemies. Alright, Kobe, get over here. We're gonna blow up this uh, blue and black checkered floor. Now we gotta shoot through a tunnel and it takes us to another crystal shard. Yay. <laughs> let's just blow this up, blow this up, grab a crystal. You know what? Screw it. Let's just blow up everything while we're at it. Because that's pretty damn fun. Oh, yeah. And when Kirby blows up with the ice, he freezes everything around him. The best part. Oh, let's see, what do I want? I want a maximum tomato, I'm going for it. Big leap, Kirby. There you go, you got it. Kirby eats something this time. Om nom 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 nom. And now the next stage, here we go. Let's see if we can find the next three uh, shards. Hi. Eat some fish. Man, those red fish on the ground remind me of magic carps. They just sit there and do nothing but splash. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling they did that on this. And why would you say that? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just have a feeling that they were supposed to model magic carp based on how like useless they are. <laughs> <laughs> so sure, why not? Give Kirby a a useless enemy in the game. Just to screw him over, just give him a useless ability to like give him like not to sleep, but give him one where it, 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 he, he looks pathetic. I, I like I want to see one where he's just pathetic. Like at least when he's sleeping, he looks cute. But you could have it so like it's like a so the splash ability. Be like a little reference from Pokemon. He just sits there for like five seconds and just flops on the ground. I would laugh so hard if that happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm running across a collapsing bridge now. I'm safe now, yay. <laughs> oh, where's the next crystal shard? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Ah, okay, we got a, a mini boss fight here, and I think there's a crystal at the top of here. Yeah, what a bill. Oh, we need the. Uh, we need a. Uh, Fire rock ability, it looks like, to get up there. Oh crap, and I just got hit. Yeah, let me exit the stage and come back with that ability so we can get that crystal shard. Oh, yeah. Again, that having the really... backtrack to get an ability. <laughs> yeah, that was honestly the reason why I could never really get 100% because I, I could not stand backtracking in that game. Alright, where's the fire? Okay, I've got a rock. I need that. Ah, there's a fire enemy, good. Ah, oh, damn it, Sir Kibble, he destroyed my item. I needed to combine <laughs> it with another one. I don't matter. I'll suck this fire guy up and oh crap and I just Oh I like how I, I like how the essence of whatever element you're getting is like this spiky thing and then you like mix them together. It's so cool looking. Yeah, I like the colored shards you get. Well well the colored crystals when you mesh them mesh the enemies together. Alright, now we got our rock fire ability, now we can backtrack again. And someone else is trying to call me! No, Bad not now! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Failure! <laughs> okay. Sorry for that, uh... That, uh... Random Skype call coming up. <sighs> Come on, Kirby, kill the fish! There you go. That that is why you put yourself on Do Not Disturb when you are doing a let's play. <laughs> I thought Away would have given a good impression too. I guess not. No, because when you're set to Away, people still think you're there. That's the problem. <laughs> I have to, uh, well when I do recordings, if I'm not doing like co-op with another person, I just close Skype because I get too many warnings pop up and stuff. So I just say no. I gotta keep this closed. Yeah, I'll do that next time. I'm in the middle of trying to finish this now. <laughs> probably, I'll yeah. probably change it when I do part four. Oh, oh boy, a lot of Gordos. A whole lot of Gordos circulating. I think... <laughs> I think Ivan was honestly the best example. He was recording a uh, part for, I think, like his Pokemon Red Let's Play. Yes, I saw I that, him, and like... you called him. 
And I yeah, was like, I no! <laughs> He's just like, ah, oh, no! Funny. <laughs> oh man, that, that was hilarious. Yeah, I'll never forget that part. <laughs> he, nope. he, he, he didn't let me live it down for a while. He was bugging me about it. <laughs> That's a shame you and Ivan didn't finish our Pokemon Let's Plays. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't finish it. Maybe he just got too busy, but I honestly just got bored with the game and I felt like I was just doing it because I had to. And I, to be honest, like the old Pokemon games, I could never really play them for that long. Like, that, that was my problem with the Pokemon games. The only ones where I could sit there for hours and hours on end and Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, which is odd. No, I could do it for Crystal too. I could do it for Crystal too, but that's it. All the others, I could only play at the max for like 20 minutes, maybe half an hour, and then I would get bored out of my mind. Like, I was having fun while I was playing it, but I just couldn't keep up with it. Like, I'm trying to play through Pokemon Black right now, but I don't know. I just can't get myself to play through it. I mean, I love the new Pokemon. Yeah, that's why I play Pokemon Online, the uh, the battle simulator, so I can, you know, do battles with that. But the actual game itself, I know. I, I hear they're, they're, like, the best ones yet, but I don't know. I just don't like raising weak Pokemon. <laughs> oh yeah, just so you know, man, I'm on the uh, left part with uh, Waddle D. Kick his ass, Kirby! <laughs> yeah, we're sailing down a big river in a crate. And I just got my second shard. I think I might record something today. I'm a little... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking for something to record, so I, I think I might do something. Oh, if you didn't know, man, I put my BDTL Week 2 thoughts up, too. Oh, did you? I'll have to check that out. But yeah, I think I might record something today. I don't know if it's going to be a Smash Flash video, or if it's going to be an actual start of a Let's Play. I don't know, but I'm definitely going to do some recording today. I am definitely in the mood to do that. Oh, yeah, Kirby's rocking out with a nice uh, tune. If I can pick up that yeah, invincible. I love this, I, I love this one. So good. Kirby's on fire. <laughs> hey, we got our last well, crystal. That, that's, that's bad, though. No, I'm on fire. <laughs> well, I got some wild boars trying to charge me. Now we made it to the end. Oh, no, there's more of the stage. I can't believe it. <laughs> and we made it to the end. No, we did it. Oh, we got some spiky logs rolling down a river here. I like this music. Really good stuff. Gives you that country-ish feel on this level. Yeah. Well, they always gotta keep the... They always gotta keep the music fast in order to keep you moving. Because if it's slow music, then you just like... la 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 move at my own pace. Yeah, I noticed the, when Kirby starts to puff up and, you know, fly around, he only has a limited amount of puffs before he, uh, unpuffs. Yeah. Whereas in the other games, you can just puff for as long as you want and you won't run out ever. So yeah, everyone playing Kirby 64, don't keep puffing Kirby. He will lose his puff power. Yeah. He will fall. Yes. <laughs> and he could possibly die. <laughs> because this is not Kirby's epic yarn, and you can actually die in this one. Oh, poor Kirby, he didn't get any food. I missed time this jump. Ah, <laughs> uh, you suck. Okay, I think we're going to call it an LP part here because we're running low on time, so stay tuned for Let's Play Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards for the N64, part 4, when Camden will rejoin us and we'll try and get further through this game. Later all. <laughs>